I grew up on the Navajo Reservation in a small town called Chinle, Arizona. It's about eight hours north from here, from Tucson. I was elected by our social studies teacher to attend a summer camp in upstate New York. Well, the reason that I was elected to go was because I'm fluent in my native language and can read and write, and I'm very familiar with uh, the cultural aspects. And they brought children, uh, both boys and girls from all walks of life, uh, different areas, different countries, brought them together for a few months to learn about one, of, one another and you know, get an idea of what exists outside our normal scope. Actually, that was the first time I've ever traveled outside of um, the state of Arizona, you know, the, the reservation. And it took a lot of convincing for my mother to let me go. The first few times I asked her, she said no. And I had to badger her for at least a month and a half before she actually let me go. The, the most intimidating part of going to that camp was I knew that it, there was something expected of me. You know, I was one representing my tribe and representing my state. and. Um, it was hard to find a good starting point to try and share the knowledge that I had with other kids. It doesn't matter where somebody's from, you know, there's similarities in what somebody does for fun. You know, fun's kind of a universal thing, whether it's just going outside to play with your friends. Um, I'm pretty sure that's uh, about the same as when, if you lived in Japan or Nigeria, if you go out to play with your friends, you go out to play with your friends. So simple stuff like that was easy to find. It uses a stepping stone into more complex things. Living in one state, one environment for so long, you tend to ignore anything that's unfamiliar. So going to the camp helped me open up a lot more as far as uh, being willing to understand things that were not necessarily beyond my scope, but things I never really consciously paid attention to. Um, I've noticed, uh, based on like my, my grandparents and my parents and certain members of my family, and even people that I've gone to school with, that uh, I think I would have had the same mentality that they had about being so intimidated about taking that, those first few steps off the reservation, you know, going into the unfamiliar and trying to um, broaden your base of knowledge and just trying to learn new things. It helped kickstart uh, a mentality of you know, wanting to be curious and wanting to know more. Once you get that little bit of information, you kind of want to delve deeper. I think uh, the interaction is the important part. And once, once you get over that fear of um, putting yourself out there, and then the, the interaction kind of just flows.